guys. It's Matt from Kentucky Range Time, and uh, we're going to take a look at a, a little project I did last week with uh, with one of my buddies. He he had an AR that he had bought and got a pretty good deal on it, and he was kind of breaking it up and piece parting it out. And uh, he was selling it back off to another guy, and the guy he was selling it to had a, a handguard that came out of the February tack pack. Uh, this handguard was a Aeronox Knox AX15. It was a 13 inch handguard and he wanted the handguard that was on the rifle taken off and this one installed and neither one of those guys had the tools to do it so my buddy offered to me and so I tell you yeah, sure come on over we'll, we'll take care of it so in the process of, uh, of installing this handguard we ran into a, an issue where the the clamp on the bottom of the handguard where it makes up against the, the lower receiver uh, was not profiled correctly to allow that to, one, slide all the way back against the upper receiver and close up the gap in the rail, and two, when it was slid back as far as it would go, um, it was binding up the, uh, the front takedown pin and also wouldn't pivot more than maybe 40 degrees to allow the, the upper and, and lower halves to separate. So what you couldn't do is you couldn't take that and break that open and pivot that up to where you could get in there and work on stuff. It would only open up to about like this. So. So the videos we got actually is, you know, just on the fly, we, you know, decided we'd just go ahead and, and make some modifications to that because it was the only way it was going to work. And so we got the, got the Dremel out and did a little bit of work to it. And I've got some pictures along the way and some video of us Dremel this thing out and then some pictures of the final product once we get it installed. So hope you enjoy. So the Dremeling's done. Here's some pictures. Uh, this is a uh, in-progress test fit to make sure we were not taking too much material out. We want to take just enough to allow this thing to come down there and close up at the rail. And here we are after all the Dremel work's been done, ready to, uh, to coat this thing up. So we took some Birchwood Casey aluminum black and uh, got everything cleaned up real good. And we used this to do the, to the black coating on it. We took a, uh, a pencil torch and we heated the area up first and then we applied this liquid to it and let it set for, for a minute or so. And it actually turns the aluminum black and heating that up allows the, the liquid to soak down into the pores in the metal and gives you a little bit better finish on it. Here we are test fitting it. Uh, we slid this thing off and on the, the brown net there several times to make sure we were getting enough metal and weren't taking too much and uh, that the rail slots and everything was lining up and the upper and the handguard were making up and touching really tight. And then we were also pivoting a while we had it on there to make sure that we had enough metal out and it had a full range of motion to open and close. This picture actually shows the finished product and you can see how close the, uh, the handguard is to that, that front takedown pin. Um, it actually was touching that, that front takedown pin and the uh, the holes there in the lower receiver and, and wasn't moving very well at all. And one of the things we do when we when I tighten these up is I take a, I've got a carry handle 
it's about six inches long, and I, I attach that half on the upper and half on the rail on the handguard and tighten those up really well. And that pulls in those, the rail and the, and the upper end to perfect alignment and holds everything in place while we tighten up those screws. And here we got the finished product. So like I said before, this was the, uh, this was the rail that was, was the February tack pack. Uh, this year. I don't know if anybody gets those or not, but there's always some cool stuff in those every month. And you know, for the month of February, this rail was the only thing in there. This thing is, uh, it's a uh, Arrow Knox brand. It's $170 online. It did have an aluminum barrel nut, which I wasn't a big fan of. But uh, anyway, it, it once we've got the modifications done, it went on pretty well and uh, it's going to make a nice rail. So there you got it.